Hey y'all, this is Lene. I am so happy to be back. Y'all haven't heard from me in since like, for real, for real, since 2017, I want to say. Maybe 2018, but I did a couple of little videos in 2019 that um, were geared towards spiritual growth. And um, I've done just that. I've, I've, I'm, on, I'm on the happy side, y'all. So I'm making these videos. I'm going to start putting up videos now for people who, you know, I was in a Facebook group and they asked a question. And the funny thing about the question was there was one, there were several people who answered the question exactly the way that I did. So, but they are um, still struggling spiritually. And so uh, my videos will be put up to help those listen. I'm going to turn off the comments. I'm not going to do the comments. And the only reason being is because people get to preaching and trying to condemn folks and this, that, and the other. And that's not what this is about. That's not, my channel isn't about that. My channel is about growth. My channel is about joy, love, peace, happiness, health, love, well-being, total enlightenment. That's what my channel is about. So for those of you who have um, been subscribed for the longest, I apologize. I do, but I cannot apologize for getting myself better. That I can't do. Please ignore all my little salon stuff. I didn't went on the salon bender. <laughs> I don't even have a salon anymore. And I didn't just went on a bender. And that's my next door neighbor, the pyro. He likes to set stuff on fire. So he's always getting people bringing in stuff that he can burn. He cool with me. As long as he ain't burning down his house and he while he in it, I don't care what he does. Um, but anyway, so the channel will be getting restructured. Um, I will be coming to you and, and I'm not one of those, um, I, I call myself a spiritual life coach now. And the reason why I say coach is because a coach uses your gifts and ability to make your life better. They don't teach you anything. They show you how to use what you have to make your life much better and so that's what i'm doing uh, my program is called ascending the power of i am and um it is a real program it is a real business things of that nature um i have some heavy hitters who are graduates of my program since 2019 so i'm excited about that man my my students are doing a dang thing you know along with me i have healed and this is one of the things that we were talking about in the group um, the many of the people are like, hey, people out here are playing games, this, any other. But sometimes you, not sometimes, all the time you have to heal you because the people you are with are the reflection of your innermost things that hurt you, that bother you, that you can't let go of. And so um, when you finally realize that, and that little tapping you hear, that's my puppy. It's, she's not a puppy anymore. She's a dog, but she just runs back and forth. But um, they are, and I'm, I'm, I'm just going to say this, and a lot of people might not like it. Send me to my inbox. I don't care. Um, the people you're with are a reflection of the innermost parts of you. And so when you're with someone who is a reflection of the innermost part of you, what's the one thing that happens? Oftentimes, it's a bad relationship. And you are blaming the other person when all actuality, it's not the other person. They are just reflecting what is within you. When I healed, when I fully healed and understood that about my relationships, I was able to go within and heal the things that I didn't like. And I will say that I have a very, 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 very peaceful relationship right now. He's a peaceful person. He's a loving person. He's a caring person. He's everything that I thought I was until I healed. And I don't think people understand that part is that um, we can see ourselves in a way that we're not until we're actually put in a position to be that way. So um, I want everyone to understand that healing is your own journey religion, spirituality, none of that. Um, no one can heal for you. That's why so many people are doing so many things and trying so many different ways. I also believe that your beliefs make your beliefs real. 
but you cannot force your beliefs on other people. I will say that again, your beliefs make your beliefs real, but you cannot force your beliefs on other people because the problem when you get to doing that is if what you believe does not work for that person, they've tried, they tried, they put in the effort, they're going to categorize you with the same um, hurt and failures, what they perceive to be failures in their life, and they're going to blame you. They're going to start to blame you. They're going to start to blame what you believe. You're going to be a hypocrite. You're going to be fake. And um, that's, you know, keep yourself out of other people's healing. People heal when they want to heal. They don't heal a moment sooner. They don't even start a moment sooner. They have to be tired, sick and tired of being sick and tired. So that being said, I'm back. And I don't know how many videos I'll be putting up because I'm kind of very busy and in transition on some things. I don't want to say too much out here on YouTube because I actually have like someone stalking me. And sadly, it's the wife of an ex. Yeah, so, you know, stalking my social media and things like that and stalking my finances and things I do. So um, I don't want to put too much on here about me personally. This channel will, will be about you all healing, creating healing in your life and creating a life you want. To, and we'll do some fun stuff. We'll do some fun stuff. I'm just chillaxing right now because I'm supposed to be going out to brunch, which they're late. So I'm going to go on brunch by myself. I ain't got a problem eating by myself. I'm a pretty cool chick. I like hanging out with me. So... <laughs> I wish everybody joy, love, peace, happiness, health, love, well-being, and total enlightenment. And you all take care. Bye-bye.